Hello, so in this video, let's try to create foundation shadows. Let's go to our project and let's go to section views, shadows, and first let's calculate quantities of our shadows. So let's select foundations, structural foundation shadow, okay. And let's choose basic parameters for our shadow. So we can remember these tables from earlier shadows and let's try to implement them in this shadow. So first I will choose mark, next one type mark. Also, I would like to see type, type comments, description, model, counting, basic comments. Okay, so these parameters may represent my foundations. Also for foundations, it's important to uh, have this parameter, elevation parameter. So elevation at top, elevation at bottom. So this also is important for foundations objects. So let's implement them in our foundation schedule. So elevation at the top and at bottom. And let's go to filtration area. In here, let's leave it leave it's empty. And let's go to sorting and grouping. So let's sort by type. Uh, first mark, type mark and type. Let's calculate grand total. Let's not optimize every instance. And from mark section, we will put it in center. Type also in center. Type, okay, in this settings, okay, description, model. Counting in center, calculate totals, comments, okay, and these parameters, let's put them a little bit up to this position, and they represent numbers, so let's use center, and let's check. Also, it's important to sort objects by elevations, so let's change some parameters to bottom and top and the last appearance parameters let's use 2.5 in here and let's check what will happen okay so for these parameters i will use 15 for these fields for these parameters i will use 30, so it means 19. Uh, this parameter also I can choose. Let's see, I see some additional long text is implemented, so let's use 20. All of these parameters, let's use 15, so 45. And how much I get? Okay, so from here I see it's too long, so let's make this one 25. And in this case I will not use mark, 
So in some projects you need to mark all each instance of foundations, but in this version I will just hide this column and I will use type mark instead of markings and let's check one more time 65 so for this let's give 25 and let's put 5 here 25 and 20 to this position let's group this part group name and let's change these names and for the top name let's change also okay in the elevation section let's give additional information so from here i don't see uh, which measuring system i am using so let's go here and let's select both okay just only one and let's select meters for elevations let's use three points and symbol and let's do the same here meters three points and and also let's show for positive value plus and plus okay so from here i see what are elevations in the bottom part and in the top part uh, next i can put here the name foundation foundation okay this will be foundation cap this one pile and this one will be wall whoa 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 okay let's go back and slap Some words are repeating, so I can just leave keyboard wall foundation gap foundation slab foundation. Okay, and I can put also some additional information in model section, and this calculates main objects elements in my foundations.